In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to add icons to buttons in Webflow. Now it's very simple to do, just pay close attention to ensure you get it correct. And if you do find this useful, be sure to like and subscribe. So you can get many different icons. Here is an example of a play button here, but there's so many you can get. Here is just a preview of some of the different ones you can get. I think there's over 33,000 you can get with this method. So this is obviously the best way you should do it. So first of all, what we need to go ahead and do is we need to go onto Google and go to the website Font Awesome. You can get there by typing in Font Awesome 6, just like this, Font Awesome 6. And here we go, go onto the website here. And what you need to do is you need to go ahead and sign up for an account. The account is completely free. It's just to verify your email. And once you've done that, then they'll give you the option to go here and you can download it. So go back to the main website once you've signed up, go to download. And then we need to go over to the Font Awesome 6 release and we need to go ahead and download this one here, um, the latest version and download free for web here. You can also download the pro version if you want to pay for it. Um, it just depends on what you want. So click on this and that's going to go ahead and download a file or a folder into your computer. What you need to do from here is you need to take this folder and unzip it. You can use something like WinRAR, extract here and basically extract it there and you'll get given this folder here. This contains all of the different uh, fonts and everything that we need which will help us to use them. So what we need to do from here is go back over to Webflow. And once we're in Webflow, we need to find the project we want to add them to. So let's say this one here. Click on the Site Settings button. After that, you can go ahead and scroll down to Fonts. And here we go. What we need to do, and I'll just delete these quickly for you. We need to go ahead and add the fonts. So we can click on the Upload Fonts button here. And what you want to do is click on Show All Files. You need to go ahead and open up the font file we just got, so this one here. You need to go to Web Fonts. And then the ones that we want is we want um, the FA Brands 400.wof2. And you want the solid one as well. And you can also do the regular one if you want to as well. So what you can do is you can go ahead and press Open. And then down here, you can go ahead and upload them. Let's upload. For the solid one, you can do 900 for the thickness if you want to, or you can just leave it. Upload. And then upload there, just like that. So that is going to be the fonts uploaded. What we can do from here is we can go ahead into the designer now, and we can start using these fonts for the icons. So the best way to do this if you're doing it with a button is obviously go ahead and grab yourself a button and then just place it where you want and obviously you can style it however you want to um, I'm just gonna leave mine like this so what I'd recommend doing is putting your button text in first so you can put like uh, click here to sign up and then I'd recommend going ahead and on this text here I'd recommend going ahead and pressing this button here, wrap with span. Essentially what this does is it means that you can change the font of this specific bit. So go ahead and pick your font that you want for that bit. I'll just do this. And now what I can do is I can go ahead and I can just um, copy and paste that, uh, that bit of text there. Or I can continue writing into here. Um, so what I need to do from here is I need to go over back to Font Awesome. We need to go onto the icon section. From here we need to scroll down to any of the categories you want. Uh, let's say you know, I've got gaming, something like that. Depending on if you've picked the free ones or the pro ones, you can select which ones you want. Let's say this dragon here. So we want to add this dragon. I'm going to click on it. You can stylize it here. You've got all these different ones, you've got these different tones, you've got sharp. Let's say we want sharp like this. Let's go ahead and we want to click on this here, which is copy this here. Copy uh, this bit. So once you've done that, what you can do, and this is a pro one actually, so I'll go back to a free one, this one here. 
we can go back over onto our site and we can just paste that in there. Now when you paste it in, it's going to look like a cube. And what you can do is highlight that and um, you actually want to go ahead and then rewrap it by itself. So you just have text span here wrapped and then you should have this one wrapped as well. So from here we can go down to the font and we need to change it to one of the fonts that we've added. I'm going to pick this one here. Uh, you can also basically go through them until it works. So for this one, the solid one works. And you can see the dragon icon is now there like that. Sometimes it requires you to uh, go ahead and publish it or save it and then come back in and it'll update. But it's pretty much as easy as that to go ahead and do it. So if you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below that it helped and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.